Frank, the last poll had Rob Portman up eight points, still within striking distance for his challenger, Ted Strickland, but still too much of a gap for some. In 2016, Ohio, Democrats looking to win back the U.S. Senate saw opportunity in a matchup between incumbent Republican Rob Portman and Democratic challenger Ted Strickland. The Democrats thought this was strong. You had a former governor, former congressman who was running against an incumbent who was in his first term and who had very low name recognition. Strickland's name recognition, though, came with the record of being governor during the economic downturn, which Portman and the super PAC supporting him have used against Strickland. I had had more money spent against me in attack ads than Hillary Clinton had spent against her in all of the states that she was running in. Super PAC supporting Strickland fired back, but the one behind this ad announced this week they were pulling three million dollars in Ohio ad buys as two tracking sources have shifted the seat from toss-up to leans Republican. Well this essentially says that the Democrats have given up on the seat and they're redirecting their resources other to other seats. Strickland takes issue with those behind the pulling of the ads. Those decisions are made in Washington uh, and I'm here in Ohio and I think a lot of times people in Washington live in a bubble. They have no idea what's really going on in the ground, on the ground. On the ground being the operative words for Strickland. Hillary Clinton's campaign and my campaign we have over 400 paid organizers throughout o Ohio, and right now they're out there working every day, going door to door, talking to people, making phone calls, getting people registered. Well, the Portman ground game also strong. There still may be divisions within some R Ohio Republicans and Donald Trump, but they are united behind Portman. On your side, John Kasich, News Channel 5. All right.